So we'll get right to it. You hired 30,000 workers over the last year and you did pay out $2.7 million in those bonuses to frontline workers. Tell us why that was worth the investment, how you'll hang on to those workers moving ahead. Okay, Papa John's has never been in a better position and that's because of the contributions of all of our employees across the country and across the globe who've been working tirelessly to take care of their communities in this time of need. And we felt like it was really important to make sure that we took good care of them. We're always gonna make the right decisions for our employees who are, make the right decisions to take care of our customers. We take pride in that. And um, you know, we're, we're very happy with the decisions we've made and that's a long-term decision. We're focused on creating long-term shareholder value. And you know, if the markets react negatively to us taking care of our employees in the short term, I'm sure they'll be back when they see the positive results that those employees drive in the long term. So pizza, of course, has been a big winner over the past year. Your stock was one of the best performers in 2020. Now, you focus a lot on menu innovation over the last year and throughout your uh, tenure as CEO here. How do you hang on to these customers as we do move into and navigate a new normal as vaccines roll out? Perhaps, you know, consumers move away from delivery and back in towards eating in, uh, in-house at restaurants. You know, we haven't changed our plans at all during the pandemic. We've just accelerated all of our efforts up against achieving what we believe to be the best long-term version of Papa John's. And really it does start with our food. We believe that we in invest in better ingredients that delivers better pizza. And I think that gives us a platform to innovate off of that, that you know, makes us differentiated in the marketplace. Last year, we launched Papadillas to, to great success. Chacaroni was a big hit. This year in Q1, at the beginning of this year, we've launched our stuffed crust pizza, which is our biggest innovation ever. And we couldn't be happier with the results that we're seeing both from a sales standpoint and a customer feedback standpoint. So we're gonna continue driving innovation, making that a big part of our strategy moving forward. Uh, store expansion also on the horizon here. Your AUVs hit $1 million for the first time uh, this past quarter. I know you talked about a few different areas on the conference call that you'll be focusing on in terms of expansion. Where do you foresee the biggest opportunity here? Really, it's everywhere, Kate, uh, you know, both domestically and internationally. We're working with our franchisees who've experienced a huge positive movement in their unit economics over the last year. Uh, higher AUVs, you mentioned we crossed the $1 million threshold as a system. Uh, the flow throughs on those AUVs are fantastic. Our franchisees are doing really well and they wanna invest in the brand. They believe in the long-term viability of our business and our plan and they wanna grow. Internationally, we have a lot of white space. We operate in about half as many countries as our core competitors. And we think there's a lot of white space to go after both in the markets that we currently compete in, as well as in markets that we don't currently compete in. So really it's a, it's a global opportunity for Papa John's. Among the big three players, we have the most development opportunity in white space. Aggregator sales increased fourfold. We talk a lot about using aggregators, not using aggregators, particularly in the pizza space. How do you take those customers and then uh, move them over into your loyalty program? How important will that be to the brand moving ahead? It's very important. Uh, you know, we, we made a choice way back when I, when I came to the brand that we were going to be where the customer wants to order. And what we found is that customers who come through the aggregator platforms are new customers. It's very incremental. They're customers that haven't traditionally ordered from Papa John's. What we're, what we're seeing is a huge influx of those new customers. It's very exciting, but it's even more exciting when they try our products for the first time, they come in and they fall in love with, it, with the food, they fall in love with our innovative new LTOs, and then they come over to the loyalty program where we can continue to engage with them on an ongoing basis and make sure that we're meeting their unique needs. Great, Rob Lynch, thank you so much for being here. Papa John CEO, we appreciate it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.